Hello, Tony here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Saturday morning review. This time Stone Cold by Jimmy Barnes and Joe Bonamassa. Um, I know both the artists. I know Jimmy Barnes well from Cold Chisel. Um, his work in Cold Chisel and his solo stuff. As well as enough about Joe Bonamassa. I've seen a few clips here and there. Um, great artist. Great guitar player. Um, but I do not know this song. So... I'm very inter I'm very interested to see how the two collaborate together. Should be a good combination. Looking forward to it. Let's rub into it. Gibson Les Paul. Guitar. Just stop it there. I did not. <laughs> that caught me off guard. I didn't expect him to sail straight into it in the intro with um, Overdriven League playing like that. Um, as, as it started out very uh, clean, very on a Gibson SG is that guitar. Um, like Gary Moore. Actually, funnily enough, Joe Bon and Massa, the amount I do know about him. He, I know he was very influenced by Gary Moore. His style, from what I've seen to date, is very similar in places. And I just saw the Gary Moore face in, right in the intro there while he's ripping into it. Um, nice intro. We haven't seen Jimmy rip into it yet, but no doubt that's coming. Let's keep going. Jimmy. It's a nice face <laughs> that we stopped on. Hey, um, yeah, this is awesome. This is classic Jimmy ripping into it. I don't know when this is from. I'm going to look it up after this. Um, and I don't know who the collaboration band is there or musicians. Nice tight drummer. Uh, older guy on the... Is that a trumpet there? Um, in the background. Don't know the keyboard player, but they seem very tight musicians with them. 
and uh, yeah, Jimmy's voice has lost none of the power that I remember in this song. This is going great. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. Let's keep going. I left my friends back in the Stop it there again, sorry. Sorry, I just had to stop and talk about it. My God, you can hear the influence in Gary Moore's playing in them, all right? The vibrato, the finger vibrato, when you bend a string, hold it, make it sing. It's tone, even the amp, I'm not sure what amp he's using, but he's got the same reverb sound that Gaz would use. Just not quite such an overdriven tone. It's getting there, but... Um, Whew, that was moving me saying that solo. This is a knockout. I won't interrupt again. <laughs> said Gibson SG before it's a Les Paul Yeah, all right. Um, so, as I was saying, 
I I do recall Gary Moore's Gary Moore would be my right up there. I've got three favourite guitarists: Gary Moore, Eddie Van Halen, and um, probably Joe Satriani. And his playing has so much influence from Gary Moore; it's just unbelievable. Um, it's almost like having him sitting and playing there. Uh, Jimmy hasn't lost any of his style, any of his power at all. That was that was brilliant. Um, I love the song, the whole structure of the song, and I notice they use, of course, brass in it, which is very remin reminiscent too of um, Gary Moore's still got the blues recordings with the backing band with the um, brass section that was in that. It, it just kind of adds just that style to this kind of song. Um, wow. Wow. I'm impressed with uh, Joe, Bon Joe Bonamassa. I've only had two beers, Jesus. Um, I'm going to check out some more of Joe Bonamassa after this as well, as well as some old classics by um, Jimmy Barnes. Uh, important to note that uh, I see two days ago, Jimmy underwent heart surgery, is recovering in hospital. Uh, all the best to his family and Jimmy. hope he's doing well and he's recovering. Fantastic artist. Anyhow, guys, um, hope you enjoyed the review. And until next time, keep on rocking.